Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, the uh, new version of LibreOffice came out, and I did not get a chance to poke around with it a whole lot, although it is on my Arch system. And I know a lot of you guys really like LibreOffice, particularly some more advanced things you can do. And I want to go ahead and just uh, use today's video slot just to do a uh, promotional for my other channel, which is actually teaching people how to be an author and how to do writing. So the channel is called Writing Done Right, and you can actually find the link for it in the description to this video. You can find it on youtube.com slash writing done right. Uh, kind of new channel here. I just launched out at the beginning of the year, but uh, in the process of teaching people how to take a manuscript that you're working on and get it fully produced for uh, publication on a variety of different places, I have a lot of tutorials uh, already on the site on LibreOffice and also uh, coming up. So if you are looking for more information about LibreOffice, particularly things like uh, how to format a book or things like this, head on over to Writing Done Right. And uh, I actually have some playlists which has tutorials in there. Most of the tutorials are going to be software, either GIMP. Uh, let me just go ahead and pull up this video list here for you real quick. Um, if I can remember how to pull up a playlist there. <laughs> there we are. All right. So over here, um, we have a variety of tutorials. You can see that some of them are based on LibreOffice. Some of them are on GIMP. I have a couple on Krita here as well. And so if you're looking for these types of more advanced, um, more niche aspects of tutorials inside of LibreOffice, inside of GIMP, than I do here on the Switch to Linux channel, head on over here. So we talk about uh, this video here is actually... Um, Let's just go ahead and mute it there. This video is actually how to do drop caps inside of uh, inside of your document here. So we're walking through how to set your uh, styles, how to use your themes, and things like this. Let me find, uh, yep, this is drop caps. So here I'm displaying exactly how to use drop caps inside of your, your documents. And so if you are looking for that type of stuff, this is the channel to find it. Now, other things that I have inside of here, uh, building an index. So if you are a person that's working on uh, running indexes, here I'm actually showing you how to do it a couple different ways. Uh, manual index creation, and we are also using concordance file index creation and uh, how this is actually going to populate. And uh, I kind of walk through all of the different settings. So you can watch the whole video. Now, each one of these videos is accompanied by an article. So you can see the articles. Usually the articles are linked. I don't always get them all linked down there, but you can find them all on writingdoneright.net. Uh, we're doing some cover design stuff. So let me go back and find a little bit more. Uh, okay, there's actually another video I want to highlight as well. So let's head on back to the YouTube channel. Uh, another one that I just did very recently was how to use your um, typesetting layouts. So this is if we wanted to do things like typesetting, how to introduce pages and page counts, default settings, how to use all of these more advanced styles. Now, again, you're not going to necessarily know how to use or need to know how to use all these things to write up a basic document. But if you are writing a book or you know somebody writing a book looking to use free and open source software, this is a great channel to go to for information. So uh, I kind of walk through how you can um, uh, how you can use the various styles that we have over here, and it is I don't know why it's buffering so much in YouTube right now, but we'll uh, go ahead and reload the video. It's buffering a lot. Okay, so uh, we're walking through page styles on this one. Now, a video that's going to be dropping, I think, on Wednesday this week is we're going to be showing you how to make your page templates and page styles and how to take these and apply them to an entire manuscript so you don't have to go back through and redo all these different areas. So again, um, the website is writingdoneright.net. There's a video archive over here that's going to have a lot of different things. Your tutorials is where you're going to have a lot of your your layouts there. So CSS for book builds. Here's how to remove people from GIMP. How to use layer masking in GIMP. Uh, getting started with eBooks. Creating indexes. 
uh, working with cover design templates. I just wanted to go ahead and bring some attention to this particular channel today uh, just to kind of show you guys some of the other things what, that I'm doing and why sometimes you won't find a lot of the more fine-tuned, fine-detail things on Switch to Linux because I have other channels where these actually go to. So I'm teaching you how to do things over there. So again, the website is writingdoneright.net. The YouTube channel is youtube.com slash writingdoneright. And there will be a link to both of those in the description to this video. And I do have some other channels as well. I usually have all those posted on the Switch to Linux channel. And for those that are asking, I have actually been throwing around some ideas about maybe throwing up a couple more cooking recipes. I might do maybe one a month or so. I don't know. Guys, let me know uh, what you think. If you are unaware of that, I do actually have a little bit of uh, cooking stuff at homecookinghacks.com where I do all my cooking directly uh, from home. So this is a separate YouTube channel as well. Graham cracker crusts, homemade yogurts, chocolate chip cookies, cutting a pineapple, which for some reason a lot of people have asked me about. How to make your own homemade Cheez-Its, making bone broths, caramel syrup from scratch. I need to update this. I need to do a butterscotch one from scratch as well. I have a nice recipe for that I've been working on for a while. Um, how to do real chocolate pudding, very simple breads, chilies, smoothies, ice creams, things like that. Those are at homecookinghacks.com uh, or at uh, youtube.com forward slash homecookinghacks. Of course, I do have my Christian stuff as well. You can find information on those also on the pages of my websites. So I just wanted to go ahead and just drop this very quick, very simple, maybe a little bit of self-promotional video over here today. Uh, just to show you guys where you can find some more, uh, mostly some more updated tutorials and more advanced tutorials on LibreOffice specifically. I do have some things on GIMP and Krita over there as well. So thanks for coming along. And uh, I'm working today. The reason we didn't do a full long video today is I'm working on getting that pie hole tutorial up. And uh, hopefully that's going to drop on Tuesday. If it doesn't, we might throw it out later on this week, uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so anyway, thanks for coming along, guys, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.